where people try and account for the difference between teams where the members compete with each other and teams where the members collaborate with each other. They sort of typically would describe members, uh, teams where people compete with each other as ones where there are power struggles, there's a lack of resources, there's unclear structures, poor remuneration, there's some who feel closer to the leader, that there's an aggressive working environment, that there's cost reductions and resistance to change, hidden agendas and the showing off of status. Whereas when people collaborate with each other, the, the sort of what, what causes that is that there's the same vision and goals, clear goals that people trust each other, that they're well-designed structure, structures, that there's affirmation in the team, that there's shared values, fun, fair reward, the sense of belonging, transparency, recognition for the work done, the quality of the leader, inclusivity and collectivism. Now, if one considers the difference between uh, context-dependent uh, variables or the variables that are concerned with the individual's choice, it's quite intriguing that by far the most of these variables are actually context-dependent, which presents us with a bit of a problem. Because if this is me and um, I'm obviously surrounded by the world, by the other, in any situation I can either construct my intent and what I'm getting or I can construct my intent on what I'm giving. And all context-dependent variables are really concerned with the issues that I get. They come from other to self. And the problem is that when I give attention to those things and I construct my intent on those things, I become weak. I actually make myself powerless. I feel like a victim. Um, uh, because if I construct my intent on the basis of what I want from somebody else, that person's ability to withhold what I want gives them power over me. It is only when I shift my intent from what I'm getting to what I'm giving that I now construct my intent on what I have power over and I therefore become powerful. This has a knock-on effect in terms of my relationship with others because if I want something from somebody else, their ability to withhold what I want makes me manipulable. In other words, they're dangerous to me, but not only are they dangerous to me, but precisely because I'm trying to get something out of them, I'm dangerous to them. And if they're dangerous to me and I'm dangerous to them, we'll have conflict. Whereas if I shift my intent to what I personally do and what I'm personally giving, um, they can't withhold anything. In other words, I'm safe from them, but precisely because I'm trying to be helpful to them, they are safe from me. And when I'm safe from them and they are safe from me, we have harmony with each other. So this issue of harmony is absolutely the product of the intent of the individual. It actually does account for how teams succeed. Because if you think of any professional team, surely most of the work that happens on the field is not about somebody scoring. It's about somebody trying to set somebody else up to score. In other words, the team succeeds when the members of the team are there to set each other up to succeed. The success of the team is absolutely an attribute of the intent of the individual. So if you think of a, a team as a, a group of loose standing individuals, uh, then one, one needs to bear in mind that uh, the intent of each individual kind of can progress and matures over time from being able to take to being able to give. And that absolutely has an impact on what the individual kind of makes significant and therefore the degree to which the, the, this group of people actually operate as a team rather than just a, as a group of freestanding individuals. So um, if you consider sort of two movements here, there's a, the degree to which the individual operates less and less as an individual and more and more as a member of a team. And then simultaneously the effect on the group is that the group operates less and less as a group of freestanding individuals and more and more as a connected team of individuals. So if you consider the effect of the maturation of the individuals concerned, then um, as individuals mature, so the connectivity between the individuals in the group gets stronger and stronger. The group operates less and less as a freestanding group of individuals, and the individuals operate more and more as members of a team and not just as individuals. So you now have a group which is no longer just a group. It is a, a group with a whole is bigger than the sum of the parts. It is a team. This intent to give if, of each individual um, is really expressed in the following. If you ask people to describe you know, their ideal team member, the first thing I'd say is somebody who uh, would be approachable, supportive, cares for you as an individual, a team member that has your back, won't throw you under the bus, 
listen to you when you have a concern, is genuine and authentic with you, is kind, has empathy, is trustworthy and respects you. Um, this person is fundamentally generous. And uh, that generosity is really expressed in a kindness of demeanor. But the second thing that's true for this person is um, that the person gives you feedback, they share your, their knowledge, they trust you, trust you, they won't interfere, they tell you as it is, they build on your ideas, they're fair, they're transparent, they give appropriate criticism and challenge you, they have no hidden agendas, they help you grow, they teach you and they're honest. In essence, this person has the courage to be fundamentally honest with you. So, um, this doesn't suggest that that uh, 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 the context has no influence on a successful team, but it is really what the individual bring to, brings to the party, the kindness and the courage of the individual, which is you as the, 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 per, the individual in the group. That is the fundamental variable that accounts for the success of the team.